Mr David Linden. Thank you very much indeed, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker. Uh, it is no surprise that you are so generous. Um, I have repeatedly spoken uh, in this chamber regarding the importance of protecting the environment for future generations. Uh, one issue that I continued to raise in 2018, 19, 20 and now in 2021 is disposable nappies and their impact on the environment. So, For several years I have been working on this issue with Magnus Smythe of Totspots a company in the Queensley area of my constituency which manufactures reusable and eco-friendly nappies. Now, one of the issues that Magnus has raised is nappy companies that falsely tell their customers that they are eco-friendly. It is important that we level the playing field so that uh, companies like Totspots can continue to produce eco-friendly products and encourage consumers to make more environmentally conscious decisions. So let me first turn to new clause 10, which outlines the crux uh, of the issues around uh, reusable and environmentally friendly nappies. In summary, it states that powers should be granted to a relevant national authority to, to make regulations about environmental standards for nappies, because disposable nappies do have a huge impact on the environment. And to put that in context, around 3 billion single-use nappies are thrown away each year in the UK, weighing in at an estimated 690,000 tonnes. The use of single-use nappies by an average child over two and a half years would result in a global warming impact of approximately 550 kilograms of CO2 equivalents. Indeed, switching to reusable nappies, or even using a mixture of both, uh, has hugely positive environmental consequences. A family that chooses uh, reusable nappies can save about 99% of the waste that would be generated by using single-use ones. If only 20% of babies using uh, single-use nappies switch to reusables, the amount of waste that could be prevented in the EU would be 1 million tonnes each year. Now, turning to my new Schedule 1, which refers to nappy waste impact reduction schemes, it is hugely important that all is done by the relevant national authority that I am proposing to establish schemes uh, to reduce the impact of nappies on the environment. This new schedule is clear in outlining how this can be done by defining the characteristics required for a nappy to meet environmental standards, promoting nappies which meet environmental standards and reporting on the steps taken to encourage local authorities to promote reusable nappies and reduce nappy waste. And at this juncture, eh, Madam Deputy Speaker, I want to highlight an example of a nappy scheme which has been very successful and one that I visited. The, Hacky, eh, the Hackney eh, Real Nappy Network eh, is an informal network of parents and carers who use eh, and promote reusable nappies. They run regular events and demos to, to help people make more informed choices around purchasing nappies whilst raising awareness of the free nappy voucher scheme. Now, the, the second part of my new schedule refers to establishing uh, environmental standards for nappies because it is imperative that the standards and characteristics of so-called environmentally friendly nappies are defined. This will help prevent uh, disposable nappy companies talking about eco-friendly nappies uh, that are anything but that. Uh, they still end up in landfill, where they can take an astonishing 300 years to break down. And if we consider that the 33 billion nappies each year that are going to landfill, eh, that's 7 million tonnes of waste and a serious problem for the environment. So to prevent disposable nappy companies from peddling clear falsehoods about their products, this scheme would require characteristics such as reusable, biodegradable, eco-friendly, environmentally friendly, all to be defined, which is currently not the case. This will impact how these companies can advertise and market their products uh, and will help consumers making environmentally conscious decisions. Now, Magnus Smythe of Totspots has been clear on the importance of defining these terms. He said, and I quote, the environmental claims made by manufacturers of single-use nappies can be misleading and families deserve to know the truth. And Madam Deputy Speaker, I'm sure you would agree with that. Right now, consumers are bombarded with hundreds of products in the market, all with different benefits and so-called environmentally friendly claims. So it's imperative that the UK government helps parents to make informed consumer decisions. Lastly, um, my amendments outline that the relevant national authority will be undertaking actions to prepare a report on steps taken to encourage local authorities to operate schemes to promote the, the use of reusable nappies and to reduce nappy waste. Now, when drafting and preparing this report on local authorities, the, the National Authority would have to consult operators of existing reusable nappy schemes, local authorities involved in those schemes, parents who have participated in such schemes, and manufacturers of reusable nappies. 
It is in this consultation period that we would ensure that the eventual scheme to encourage the use of reusable nappies is as effective as possible. Madam Deputy Speaker, we are currently in a climate emergency, meaning that we have to seriously look at all areas of our lives where we are adversely contributing to the global environmental disaster. Parents around the world will use nappies every day. It is therefore incredibly important that such an essential item for families is not continuing to adversely damage the environment. And with millions of disposable nappies now in landfill, we have the opportunity to make a change. The babies in nappies today will inherit the world that we leave for them, and we owe it to that future generation to do all we can to protect their planet and pass on a better legacy. The amendments that I have outlined today clearly show the advantages of properly defining the environmental standards for reusable nappy products, as well as how important the schemes are in terms of promoting them. And I hope that the Government will take this opportunity to support my amendments. They are a small step towards helping families make more environmentally conscious decisions, and I commend them to the House. Yeah, yeah.